All righty. So welcome. Uh, we're glad that you all could be here with us this evening as we discuss um, Essential Oils 101. Uh, so answering all the questions that you may have. Um, my name is Patty Abel, and I have been uh, using Young Living Oils for about five years now. And I originally got into using them uh, mainly looking for some healthy alternatives to use with my daughter who um, needed some calming and focus help. And then also just to replace uh, what I was finding um, in our homes to be, you know, not good for our health that had chemicals in them. And then I'm uh, joined tonight by Ginger uh, Johnson, uh, one, of my, one of my best friends and team members. And um, I'll let her tell you a little bit about herself before we get started. Well, thanks, Patty. It's always a pleasure to be able to uh, teach a class with Patty. We've been teaching together for about five years now. I think I might have been one of Patty's, uh, one of the first ones she introduced uh, essential oils to. I was already kind of in a search for a healthier alternative uh, for my husband. He was in need of some liver support. And uh, so we were removing chemicals from the home and diet and over the counter. Uh, so we were on a search for um, a healthier alternative. So Patty was already on the oil journey. So I was able to jump in right with her. So we've been doing this for about five years now. So um, we're here tonight to just teach you all we can. Yay. All right, so you can kind of get an idea of uh, why we're so uh, passionate about chemical free living and why it matters to us. Uh, you know, both of us have seen the other end of a chemical filled lifestyle, and we just want everyone to know what they're putting in their bodies could be very harmful. Um, get the slides going. So, are you, you know, is everyone aware that the number two cause of death in the United States is cancer? Uh, 1,620 people a day die of cancer. Uh, those numbers are just staggering to me. One in three cases in the U.S. are directly linked to a poor diet, physical inactivity, weight, or chemical exposure. The American Cancer Society says only 5 to 10 percent of all cancer cases are from gene defects. 5 percent. Um, that means 95 percent of cancer cases are under our control and the majority of it is what we allow in our homes. And um, just a side note in that, since we're talking about cancer, you know, I lost my, my dad. That's one of my other reasons for um, sharing and caring with people because I lost my dad to cancer. Uh, he was only 47 when I was uh, 24 years old. So that was pretty, uh, pretty big to me. And when I look back now, I can see you know, a lot of the chemicals that he was subjected to, a lot of the um, food choices he was making um, was just kind of a toxic cocktail. Uh, the National Institute of Occupational Safety and Health studied 2,983 ingredients in our products at home and found 884 toxic ingredients. 314 of them caused biological mutations, 218 caused reproductive problems, 778 were toxic to the human body and 146 they knew caused cancer tumors but were allowed in the United States even though they're banned in other countries around the world. Many of these chemicals are allowed in common cleaning supplies in the United States, things under your cabinet right now. Uh, so look at the ingredient list of what you have in your bathroom and kitchen. Every day we put products on our skin in our body and breathe them but many of these products contain damaging chemicals. The average woman applies over 300 chemicals a day to her body, just through soaps, makeup, shampoos, hair care products. Eight of those products are applied every day before breakfast. Um, the top 10 most chem dangerous chemicals in our home are air fresheners, like plug-ins or candles. Second on the list, chemical cleaning supplies drain and oven cleaners and furniture polish, as well as dishwasher soap and dish soap, beauty supplies and personal care products, hairspray, gel, shampoo, and deodorant are laden with chemicals. Most deodorant has aluminum in it, and we slather it on our lymph nodes. Many scientists believe aluminum exposure may be linked to Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. One of the top pollutants in the family home is laundry soap and fabric softener. We wash our clothes 
it sits on her skin, it outgasses in her closet all night long. That information is straight from the government, from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency's top 10 killer household chemical study. There are 100,000 chemicals on the market today, and the Toxic Substance Control Act of 1976 grandfathered them in. So what does that mean to you? Simply put, these chemicals have not had any safety testing, and we know very little information about their side effects. Dr. Samuel Epstein, chairman of Cancer Prevention Coalition, says it's unthinkable that women would knowingly inflict such exposure on their infants and children and themselves if products were routinely labeled explicit warnings of cancer risks. But they're not labeled. That makes me upset. Yes. <laughs> I'm like, no. It kicks me off. Yes. But since the 1940s, prostate cancer is up 200%, thyroid cancer 155%, brain cancer 70% and the American Cancer Society estimates a 50% rise in cancer rates by 2020. It is no wonder that the quality of air in our home is five to seven times more toxic than outdoor air quality. What happens in your body is chemical overloaded. You may see it as <clears throat> something as catastrophic as cancer, but most of us feel it on other ways. Lethargy, inability to focus, sleep trouble, chronic inflammation, does any of this sound familiar? Unexplained pain, skin issues, adult acne, hot flashes, stress and fear. If you face any of these issues, it's time to kick chemicals to the curb. You can control what you allow within the walls of your home. Our family started doing lots of research on healthy alternatives, which led us to essential oils. Today, I want to talk, tell you about what an essential oil is. They are the most powerful part of the plant. They are distilled from the shrubs, flowers, trees, roots, bushes, fruit, rind, resin, and herbs. Oils consist of a hundred different natural organic compounds. In, the, in humans, they provide support for every system in the body. Your skeletal system, muscular system, circulatory system, endocrine system, your hormones, respiratory system, and immune system. They support brain health and healthy weight. They are used extensively for emotional or, or spiritual support in your prayer life. An oil in a, diff, in a diffuser can soothe a child's tough day at school and provide a calming effect when you've had a stressful day at work. Oh, I have lots of those. <laughs> Oils can be used as an alter, uh, alternative to toxic cleaning chemicals in the home. You can literally start swapping out every single chemical cleaning toxin in your home to live a pure lifestyle, and you can do it without breaking the bank. There are about 300 oils on the earth, but you only need 10 to 20 of them to build a good kit. You do not need to be an aromatherapist to use them. In most cases, just rub it topically on the skin. There are three main ways to get the oils into the system. The English apply it topically. You just rub it on the skin. The French ingest and they cook with it. The Germans diffuse and inhale, which can be the most effective method because it does not have to pass through the digestive system. Can you believe tests have shown oils reach the heart, liver, and thyroid in three seconds when inhaled? They were found in the bloodstream within 26 seconds when applied topically. Expulsion of essential oils takes three to six hours in a normal, healthy body. So many people think essential oils are trendy, but they aren't. They were first mentioned by name in the biblical book of Genesis, chapter 37, when Joseph was sold to the slave traders. They carried spices, balm, and myrrh. Genesis ends with the burial of Joseph's father anointed with myrrh. Oils are mentioned 1,100 times directly or indirectly in scripture. And some of the oldest cultures on earth used essential oils. The Babylonians placed orders for cedarwood, myrrh, and cypress. The Egyptians used essential oils for beauty and embalming, and they had the oldest recorded deodorant recipe made with essential oils. Pakistan and Rome used essential oils in the communal bathhouses. They were even used by Christ. Jesus was given gold, frankincense, and myrrh. 
Franken, did you know frankincense is sometimes referred to as the coconut oil of essential oils because it has over 10,000 uses. Essential oils were used by the medieval Europeans, many of whom brought oils back during the Crusades. It was only after World War II when essential oils were rediscovered and the science on their uses grows with every single year. Okay, Patty, so let's talk a little bit about how essential oils work. Um, I've used oils for years. Uh, lavender always smelled nice in my bath, uh, but I really never had a significant effect on my body when I would use that. Uh, I used to buy my lavender and it was like, it averaged like $4 a bottle or less at a local health food store. Um, this is staggering to me. In the United States, there's no rating of essential oils. The closest we get is the FDA requirement that in order to label a bottle of essential oil pure, meaning it just has that label pure or therapeutic grade, the contents of the bottle must contain at least 5% essential oil. Well, that's not very much, ladies and gentlemen, 5%. Um, so let's just kind of wrap our mind around that and try to figure out what the other 95% is. Um, all oils in the world fall into four categories. There's grade A, grade B, grade C, and grade D. Grade A is therapeutic. It's made from organically grown plants and distilled at low temperatures. Grade B are our food grade oils, um, but many contain synthetic pesticides, fertilizers, chemical extenders, or carrier oils. Grade C oils are perfume oils that often contain adulterating chemicals. They, use, uh, they usually use solvents, for example, hexane. Uh, that's to gain a higher yield of the oil per harvest. So these solvents can be cancerous. That's shown, there's reports out there that these solvents can be cancerous. Uh, and they're often found in many store-bought oils. Um, they may be diluted 80 to 95% with um, alcohol. Grade D is our floral water, which is an aromatic only, and is usually a byproduct of the grade A distillation. After all the oil is pulled out, the leftover trash water is sold to companies, which is which will fill 5% of the bottle and the leftover water, of the leftover water, and fill the rest with whatever they want to, and they just slap a pure label on it. So grade A is the only true genuine oil, um, grade D would kind of be like opening your refrigerator, taking out a glass of orange juice and diluting it 95% before you drink it. It would not have the full benefits of orange juice at all. That's why you want grade A oils. Before you purchase, you need to check to see if the company grows their own plants, owns their own fields, controls the entire process from the seed to the seal from the farm to the sealed body. Pesticides, pollutants, previously farmed land, all of that can affect the quality of an oil. Young Living's oils are grade A. Why would you go to the extra step of using an oil to get away from chemicals to only to find that the oil is laden with chemicals? It makes no sense. One of the things that stands out to me is Young Living Seed to Seal. And Patty just put that screen up there for us. Um, it's a promise of integrity. Gary Young, the owner of the company, has said that he never makes an oil for a profit. He makes it for a purpose. Seed to Seal means each plant is hand weeded. There are no pesticides used, no chemicals, no weed killers. The plants are harvested at their peak they're, uh, they are put through vigorous testing process. Then they go from the farm directly to your home. Seed to Seal is not a slogan. It is a promise. You can learn more by clicking at, checking out the Young Living Story and fall in love with the company just as we have at seedtoseal.com. So many people often ask why some other oil companies sell oils more cheaply. Well, let's see. To save money, of course, if you spray your crop with pesticides, you have more crop to distill. 
If you choose a chemical solvent to extract the oil, you get more out of it. If you dilute it with a cheaper oil or a carrier oil, you stretch the oil you have distilled. Most essential oils are so, sold more cheaply because the company cuts corners. So I always think back to what, you know, I've heard my parents, my grandparents always say, you get what you pay for. Yeah, and that doesn't make, uh, Patty, that's just like any, any other industry out there. I mean, it, sometimes it's just all about the dollar. Yes. So you got to do your research and know what you're getting, what you're putting on, what you're putting in yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, it's amazing how oils are made. Uh, it takes a great deal of work to produce a tiny amount of essential oil. 60,000 rose blossoms provide only one ounce of rose oil. Lavender, now it's in abundance. So 220 pounds will provide seven pounds of oil. Jasmine flowers must be picked by hand before the sun becomes hot on the very first day they open, thus making it one of the most expensive oils in the world. It takes 8 million hand-picked blossoms to produce 2.2 pounds of oil. Wrap your mind around that and then go buy one off out of the store somewhere. <laughs> uh, no, thank you. Um, a sandalwood tree must be 30 years old, 30 feet high, before it can be cut down for distillation. But a little goes a long way. Most oils are 10 to $30 a bottle. A five milliliter bottle contains about 90 drops and a 15 mil bottle contains about 250 drops. Each application is one to three drops, meaning even a small bottle will get you 45 to 90 applications. So if you do the math on that and you dollar figure on that, <laughs> you're really going to save yourself some money. A little goes a long way. So just always remember your oils are very concentrated. So, you know, don't think, oh, well, if I use five or six, it's going to be even better. You really only need one drop mo the majority of the time. And I even recommend when you first start to dilute it if you've not been used to them. And if you're really working on removing toxins from your body. So tell us, Patty, um, are essential oils really safe? Well, let's talk about that. Uh, there are certain oils that are photosensitive, uh, meaning you don't want to wear them and go outside. Uh, they are mostly our citrus oils, the uh, grapefruit, lemon, orange, lime. Um, you know, what we always say is put it where the sun don't shine if you're going to wear it. Uh, when using on your skin, always watch for redness and dilute with a carrier oil. Uh, so a carrier oil, we're going to talk about that. Dilute oils also with children uh, because their skin is more sensitive and permeable and absorb the oils more quickly. Um, so what is a carrier oil? It's a fatty oil like olive or coconut oil, jojoba, uh, any Great. of those nut oils. Its molecules are much larger than those of the essential oil. Um, so using a carrier with an essential oil slows down the rate of the body can absorb the essential oil because it has to ping pong through the larger molecules or the carrier oil to get into your skin. Uh, so, you know, somebody's always said to me, it's like a slow release if you dilute it. Yeah, and it's like, well, only since I'm a science major, I'm the science <laughs> geek, the molecules of our essential oils are so small and then those carrier oils, those molecules are larger. So imagine those smaller ones attaching to that larger one. And that's where you get that ping pong effect where it'll slow it down as it passes through uh, the skin. And um, so that goes back to where I think we're gonna talk about if you get it in your eye. Yeah. So be weary of putting the oils topically near your eyes. Uh, some oils like peppermint can cause a burning sensation because of the menthol. Um, it's not going to make you go blind, but it's not going to be very pleasant. If you're placing an oil near your eye, apply the oil to a Q-tip instead of tipping the bottle towards your face. Never a good idea. Uh, you can become desensitized to an oil if you use the same one day after day. So we always rotate our oils every, you know, three or four days or so. So what about internal use of essential oils? You know, that's one that a lot of people question sometimes. 
Naha, which is one of the top aromatherapy schools in the U.S., doesn't advocate essential oils for internal use. Why? Because most oil companies don't carry any gross or what's generally regarded as safe essential oils, which has been cleared by the FDA. Naha also bases a lot of their decisions on the British model, which advocates topical use only. Many of the British studies are very flawed and for example, done at extremely high doses or in ways that oils are not meant to be used, like pouring a bottle into the body. Uh, Young Living utilizes all three methods, British, French, and German. And the French have been safely using some essential oils internally for decades. Uh, Young Living has created a vitality line with distinctive labels so you can easily recognize which oils are safe to take internally. And we already talked about carrier oil. So, you know, let's start talking about our oils. So when you use Young Living Essential Oil, you're using a product with one ingredient, like lemon, oregano, tangerine, no additives, no chemical yuck. It's so easy to get started. So let us um, tell you how we got started on our oil journey um, with the starter kit that comes with 11 of the most amazing oils you'll ever try. <laughs> All right, let's get started. But since the first one we're going to talk about <laughs> is frankincense, we have to stay in our routine. Uh, this is uh, Patty's favorite oil. <laughs> so by all means, I am not going to talk about that. I'm going to let her do that. <laughs> so frank frankincense, yes. If, if I had to pick only one oil, it would be frankincense. I hope I never have to do that. But if you remember back when it said that they consider it the coconut oil of essential oils because there's over 10,000 uses, that's why I would pick frankincense. It's one of the top skin oils. It helps to smooth the appearance of skin. Um, it's also a key ingredient in one of our blends called Brain Power because uh, of its high uh, chemical constituent of sesquiterpenes, which are great for your brain health. Um, Many people diffuse it for prayer time to help with grounding and purpose. And there is also a frankincense vitality oil um, also. And if you remember the vitality oils are the ones that you can use internally. Um, peppermint, I'll just go ahead and then we give Ginger the next um, slide because it has her favorite oil on it, <laughs> um, which is also one of mine, but not as much as frankincense. Uh, so lavender, most all of us are familiar with lavender. Uh, for relaxation and calming. You can diffuse it uh, for its calming, soothing aroma. It's great for unwinding by putting it into some Epsom salts and putting it into your nighttime bath. Um, it's one of the top oils to support healthy skin, and it's called the Swiss Army Knife of essential oils because of its many uses. Uh, so this is one that we use a lot in our home for anything skin-related, um, always for calming. I love to uh, combine this one and oil called cedar wood and put it on my pillow before nighttime just to help me relax. And then one of my, oh, and then lavender also has a vitality oil also. Um, so there's some internal uses with that vitality oil. Peppermint, uh, in your kit you'll receive the peppermint vitality oil. And then just a little side note here that um, the labeling vitality and the regular is a labeling uh, same exact oil in the bottles but for labeling purposes you have to label it vitality or or otherwise uh, peppermint vitality supports our gastrointestinal comfort so this is great to put in water to help our bellies it helps promote healthy bowel function and enhance um, healthy gut function uh, helps maintain the efficiency of digestive tract um, it's great for um, performance during exercise. I love putting it in my water at the, towards the end of the day when I'm needing to, you know, find a little bit more energy to get me through the rest of the day. Actually, it's what I'm drinking now is a glass of water with one drop of peppermint oil. A little note on peppermint oil. One drop of peppermint oil is equivalent to about 26 cups of peppermint tea. So I don't know about you, but I'd rather have one drop than try to drink 26 cups of tea. And that also, Patty, you know, lets them know, like when we say one or two drops, I mean, we seriously mean all it's going to take is one or two drops. Mm -hmm. If you don't think so, then try about four or five 
drops of peppermint and some water and that'll change your mind and you'll be like oh yes i do remember they said one drop all right so let's talk about purification um diffuse to freshen the air and eliminate odors so say maybe you cooked uh some fish fried some fish in your house and you needed to get rid of the odor you could certainly put purification in the diffuser and run that and that would take care of that. Or if you go into a motel room and it's kind of musky in there, you could put some purification on like a Kleenex and put it in the return vent and freshen up that motel room before you had to go to sleep at night. Um, you can add it to a carrier oil to moisturize your skin uh, or for a soothing massage on your feet. Use in a spray to enjoy um, the outdoors without any annoyances out there. Uh, summer's upon us, so there's gonna be little critters out there. So all you have to do is put purification. We put it in a spray bottle. We add a little bit of either witch hazel or um, sea salt that will act as a dispersant because remember from science that oil and water don't mix. So uh, your witch hazel or your sea salt will uh, disperse that so just give it a shake or two and then spray yourself down so um, water and purification and your sea salt and you're good to go for an outdoor anoint spray um the next one is stress away it promotes wellness and may be an important part of your daily health regime uh one of the top emotional oils this oil smells amazing I wear it as on my neck and on my wrist as um, as a perfume. Um, so many people are on when they go to hug me, they're like, "What are you wearing?" So it is an amazing oil. Um, if you've got it, crank it open and just enjoy. Okay, and here's my favorite. And I love diffusing this one with a drop of peppermint. It smells like a peppermint candy. There you go. There you go. It's one of my favorites. Or you can take, uh, Patty, have you ever had Stress Away and Pan Away? It smells like root beer. Yes, it does. <laughs> so just use your own um, concoction out there, whatever you want to mix, that's fine. Go for it. Um, okay, so here's my favorite. It is Thieves. Um, Thieves helps support a healthy respiratory system and helps maintain overall wellness. Uh, when taken as a dietary supplement. So this is the Thieves Vitality. So you would take this one internally. There is also a Thieves that's in the colored label, like the purification and the stress away is considered a, a colored label. Uh, so there is a Thieves um, out there uh, in the colored label and you can use that like on the bottom of your feet, uh, in the diffuser. So um, we keep that constantly running in our business. Um, our business, we have people from all over the United States come actually from all over, all over the world uh, that pass through. So um, we just want to keep ourselves uh, a good, healthy immune system. And so we keep this beach running all the time. Amazing, amazing oil. And oil you don't want to go without. No. So let's talk lemon, lemon vitality. Um, it enhances the flavor of water and food. I love putting a drop of lemon in my water in the morning to get my day started. And actually throughout the day, I love the flavor of it. Uh, it's a key ingredient in our Thieves and also our Ningxia Red um, antioxidant drink. It can help support the immune system. I love using this one for baking. Uh, when I make pancakes, I love putting it in there. Anytime I bake, it just gives it such a fresh, taste. Uh, we did French toast this weekend and I put a few drops in the, um, the stuff Batter. you soak in. <laughs> um, I'm losing the thought of what it is. I actually put a drop of lemon and a drop of, or actually a few drops of lemon and a drop of cinnamon in it and it was delicious. Um, and then there's also a regular lemon for if you're wanting to use it aromatically. Uh, Copaiba, uh, this one is great. This is a vitality and it promotes overall wellness. So this is uh, this one's a good support for all the systems in the body. And it's also a great skin oil. Um, and it, it also comes in a non-vitality oil also. And it can, it's, I use it a lot, the non, the regular oh. Copaiba with the pan away. The two of them work really well together to help soothe muscles. 
uh, the the panoy has a really nice aroma. It has some wintergreen in it. It has wintergreen, clove, peppermint, and helichrysum. It's an amazing oil. Uh, one thing I do always recommend to people is I use panaway for um, you know those deep tissue to really ease and stimulate the deep tissue. Um, and I use just for those regular days at the gym, maybe peppermint. Because of the helichrysum and pain away, it's gonna be one of your more pricier oils to replace. So I always, I'm a little frugal with it. And I like to pass that on. Um, it supports the appearance of healthy uh, skin coloration. Um, and this is just a really nice one. A lot of people will take some coconut oil and put pain away and copaiba in it to make a nice muscle rub. Okay, diegize. Uh, vitality. So just think of kind of like what it says, Digize Digestive. So it's a top oil for supporting the digestive system. Uh, you can add two drops along with a drop of peppermint to water for a stimulating beverage. Uh, that would be very stimulating. <laughs> so what I would personally suggest would be the next line. Take it in a veggie cap internally. Um, we have our veggie caps that you can buy there for a young living and you just put your digize in there and then just take it. Um, so I would strongly encourage you to do that. It's, um, that's going to be a very stimulating beverage if you do two drops of, um, digize and peppermint, but you can try it. Maybe it will work for you. Well, and I have an eight year old, so she's not going to put either in her mouth. So we use the digize, um, and, and we put it on either the bottoms of her feet or her belly. Right. So the Dajaz, uh, what it's Patty's stimulating, tingly feeling. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> so what she was saying is that the colored label of Dajaz, um, that's the one that you can put on the bottom of your feet. And then your vitality, remember, you want to take that one internally. Um, RC supports a healthy respiratory system. Um, diffuse for a comforting aroma. Rub on the feet and chest encourages an atmosphere of comfort. Um, RC is loaded with a ton, ton of eucalyptus. It's an amazing oil. It's uh, and an inexpensive oil. Comes in your kit, and as, so it's easy to replace. Um, inexpensive and mm, I love very, RC. very good. Yeah. <laughs> um, and you know, so this kit is the only thing on the Young Living website that's half off. If you're a frugal mama like we are. Uh, this is the best bang for your buck. Um, I know for myself personally, I researched for over three months and ordered my starter kit and began right where you are right now, kicking one chemical out of my home at a time. You can do this and it's about taking small steps and saying no more. I will not allow things in my home. You can't control all the, you know, we can't control all the places that we're exposed, but we are the gatekeepers of our house. And, um, you know, we'd love to show you simple, easy steps. So you begin with the premium starter kit. That's a diffuser and all the oils that we spoke about tonight. Uh, some of the most common oils on the earth for supporting the systems of the body. Um, so all you have to do is, let's see, they give us a little bit more information here. It's do, 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 do. Yeah, so like if you take your diffuser cost out, you're getting those 11 bottles of oil for 70 bucks, which is a, <laughs> a steal. Uh, you can't even get them that cheap at the grocery store. And each bottle has 90 drops of oil in it, which is 90 applications. Um, the kit also comes with bottles to share with your family and friends. It has an Aroma Glide roll-on uh, filament to put on one of your bottles of oil so that you can make it into a roller bottle. It has samples of the major red for full body system support and a diffuser. Um, so it's basically a lifetime wholesale membership. And that means 24% off your oils for life. Um, all they, the only requirement that they have is that you, to maintain that wholesale membership is that you spend $50 in a month. So if you think about it, if you had like a Costco or Sam's card, you have to pay every year to re-up. Here, as long as you're spending fifty dollars, you get you product. get it. Um, so there's never a membership fee. Um, so basically, that would be like purchasing two bottles of Thieves Cleaner a year, um, and you're gonna want Thieves Cleaner. 
So how do you order? You're going to head on over to youngliving.com, click on become a member, and enter the member number of the person who invited you in both lines. Once you have put in the sponsor enroller number, it will take you to the second page and ask for personal information where you'll set up your account. Write it all down so that you're able to log in later. And the third page asks which starter kit you want. Our personal favorite is the Dewdrop Diffuser mm -hmm. with the premium starter kit. Uh, it's one of my, I've, you know, been in Young Living for five years and it's by far my, one of my favorites. Um, at this point, uh, let me just take some time to explain um, a program that Young Living has out there. It's called Essential Rewards. Um, you get to pick the oils that come to your door every single month. You can switch them out. You can go in and select whichever ones that you want from month to month, and you get paid 10% back for everything you order. That's 10% back on your laundry soap, your dish soap, your thieves household cleaner. We have a full line of supplements, all of your oils and more. Um, it's truly one of the best decisions that I know Patty and I, Patty's family and my family have ever made. Um, it's just pretty much like redistributing your money. Like, so we don't have to go to the local stores and buy those things. Um, like Patty just showed it there, like our laundry detergent or our household cleaners. I mean, we use one bottle of Thieves Cleaner to clean everything. Our floors, our toilets, our countertops, our fruits and vegetables, everything. We use this one bottle and it comes concentrated and you just take a little cap full and put it over in a spray bottle and then fill the rest up with water. And that it comes out to some crazy thing like less than $1.50 a bottle. I mean, you can't even buy the green stuff in the store that's not even you truly junk. Yeah. Yeah. You can't buy the junk or the green stuff. That's, you can't buy that stuff that's making you sick for that. So it is, I mean, when you start putting a pen and paper to it and you do the dollar figure on this, it is so worth it. I mean, when you first look at it, you're like, I'm not going to pay $20 for that bottle of cleaner, but that's concentrated. That is going to last you a very, very long time. And then you only have one bottle underneath your sink that you do all of your cleaning with. Um, you don't have to worry about wearing gloves or masks or worry about your kids being around it or your pets being around it. Absolutely. It is amazing. So on the Essential Rewards Program, those of us who use all of these products, we get a kickback and so then we get to bank this 10% back and more as you stay in it longer, you get more back. And then we can go in and like that pan away that Patty was talking about that's a little more expensive. I have never in five years purchased a bottle of pan away. I've always used my points to get it. So um, if you are, serious about removing the chemicals in your home and you are serious about just giving your family the best that you can give them, um, this is a program that you definitely want to look at, the Essential Rewards Program, because if you're buying it and if we see that you're ordering, we're going to be like, oh, hey, you need to be on Essential Rewards because um, absolutely, you're losing money and who can't use a little extra money this day? And we can always give you more information on it too. It's it's an amazing program. I got like seventy five dollars in rewards this last month. Oh, I'd yeah. love to tell you what I got I sitting in my bank. I'm waiting for a picture <laughs> I I've got to post this month. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when I go I get to go shopping for free. Um, and then you know, as you're going through there, your final window is going to be your payment, and then you're off and running. And then look for your welcome package in the mail. Um, this is something our family decided to take seriously. We are the gatekeepers of our home, and we realize that there are toxins in our home that was affecting us physically and emotionally, and they are totally preventable with a few changes that we brought in. Um, it's about small, simple baby steps. Take it one month at a time and swap things out in the home. Maybe the first month start with your biggest offenders. First, toss the candles. And oh my gosh, I used to be a huge candle person. Now I can't I'm, even stand to be around them. I Ginger used to sell them. <laughs> <laughs> but they're they're the one of the most toxic things that you can use. Anything that has fragrance in it, 
it is just not good for you. The plugins, get rid of them or keep your little thing. We'll teach you how to clean them out and create your own plugin with it. Um, swap them out with the diffuser. That's what I use now. I have diffusers mm -hmm. all over my house and your essential oils. That's your plugin. That's your candle. It's much better. Trust me. The next month, grab a bottle of these cleaner, swap out your soap, your dish soap, laundry soap. I love their laundry soap. I was making my own and I love now that I can just purchase it and I don't have to make it anymore. Uh, but if you prefer making it, we can teach you how to do that. They are affordable and simple to use. Add them to your essential rewards order. It isn't, isn't it awesome knowing you just boost your immune system instead of taxing your liver. Month three, focus on your personal care products. So start replacing your deodorant, your shampoo. Month four, you can do your beauty supplies like face wash. Every day you leave your makeup on your skin by seven, your skin actually ages by seven days. It's crazy. <laughs> so um, we don't want our skin to age that fast. Use a chemical free option to get it off. The Young Living Art line is one of our favorites. Um, and it's so gentle. I have very, very sensitive skin. And through the years, I have always had trouble, even when they're like, oh, it's hyperallergenic. Oh, it's for sensitive skin. It still broke me out. This stuff does not break me out at all. Um, it, my skin loves it. I started this journey myself five years ago with a Young Living Starter Kit, and I've never, ever looked back. Uh, we use the oils every single day, probably every single hour <laughs> or less in our day in our home even our daughter asked for them so we just want to thank you guys for joining us tonight uh, we love those products these products as you can tell and um, but more than anything we truly love sharing with other people that there are healthy alternatives um, and you can make a difference in yours and your family's overall wellness so you know Empower. I love this where it says, Why Young Living? To empower and educate those who are willing to watch God's creation work in their lives. It's a great quote. Awesome. Thank you, Patty. I appreciate you. Thank you, ladies. I am going to stop the recording. That way you guys can ask questions. Oh, so I did forget to say, if you were invited by someone onto this webinar tonight, get with them, get their member number so that you can... Um, get started um, and sign sign up and get your kit coming uh, you will go through every single oil and love every single one and there's so many more uses than we even went over tonight there's hundreds of uses